so what's up guys today we have a new thing that just arrived it's the saddlebag leather thin front uh leather backpack it's um i just want to show you guys first impressions and how it comes fresh out the box so you get a big box you open it it's a plastic bag that's around this so it's covered well protected as soon as you open it you smell the leather which is super delicious um this is 100% full grain leather, which is top notch, if you know about leather. It's not uh, genuine leather, it's, it's the lowest of the bunch, and then it goes from genuine, and then it has a little a ladder going up to full grain. Full grain means it's basically toughest leather out there. Um, leather is strong, and it's super durable, that's why everybody has used leather all over throughout centuries and stuff so yeah uh, i just want to show you guys how it comes so it comes like this and it has a uh, little tag and then the company's logo and then their motto or their slogan go fly over it when you're dead so yeah just to um to prove that this leather will hold up they have that slogan that even when you're dead this thing will you keep uh, still keep going uh, it has a 100 year warranty from saddleback leather so I guess if your buckles break if something happens to your bag um, you can go ahead and send it for warranty and yeah so it has it's a backpack as you can see so two leather straps come like that it has pockets here 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 and then the big one and then behind each one of these pockets you can also have something um, stored in so I'll go ahead and quickly cut the video and show you guys the when it's strapped up and um, unbuckled and all that so give me one second so yeah guys quickly I'm gonna show you guys it does come with um, leather pads I just want to sh uh, quickly show you guys um, they were inside the bag I thought this was extra but obviously they come with it so yeah I'll show you guys with these on so these are optional, you can either have the bag with or without. So yeah, um, let me show you guys in one second. All right guys, so I packed this with the typical stuff I would carry. Um, for the purpose of the video, I just unbuckled all the straps so it could be easier, but they they all cut. Um, the straps are very nice, well made, heavy duty. Everything is 100% full grain leather, so you know, oh, so you know it's a good good quality stuff. This ain't no um, genuine leather. Genuine means, like I said, it's very cheap. So yeah, 100% 100, 100 full grain leather. Um, so yeah, as it gets started, I'll show you guys what I typically would carry and what fits in a bag. And it could fit way more, as you can see, this thing is like half empty, but just that's what I would carry. So um, the bag stands on its own, which is a very good thing. Um, uh, most bags don't do that nowadays, so bag that could stand on its own is very convenient if you if you're trying to uh, just lay it by your side it's not gonna be flopping on the ground it'll just sit like a good boy so yeah so let's start off over here what I got a flashlight you always need a flashlight so I carry this and th this is a upper view coming soon so yeah definitely recommend this bag it's a Thor file Thor Fire BLF Q8. Um, so yeah, I'll link this in the description if you want, if you're interested. But you can wait for the review. This light is sweet and it's super tiny. Look how compact that is. The size of a hand. Super powerful. So yeah, keep that in there. What else? Let's see. Um, Bose QC35s great for airplanes great for car rides great for uh not the gym i see people wear these at the gym and that's just disgusting these are they have a leather ear cuff so over time that's just gonna stink it's gonna look gross and you're gonna ruin them so yeah don't do that boys don't take that to the gym so yeah but i mean you could if you want whatever but it just i don't know bad idea also let's see gopro uh, this is a silver four, old but still good. So yeah, keep that in there. What else? Let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. 
anchor battery charger um, 20,000 milliamps great for basically everything I have in the bag um, super powerful three USB ports uh, yeah so definitely a must if you have tech and gadgets which I do so that's a must you, man, it's, it's, it's one, sorry it's hard one-handed next thing leather iPad uh, just a cover because that's what I'm using to record but it's iPad Pro 10.5 inch with the leather with the leather sleeve and the keyboard and pencil and all that jazz 13 inch MacBook Pro so it fits there wonderful you can fit 15 inch if you want and yeah look at that way more space but yeah that's pretty much what I had on the main compartment let's go to the smaller ones so like I said behind the pockets behind the actual pockets there's another pocket so you can put stuff behind it um, always carry a ratchet just in case <laughs> but I'm playing you can put whatever but a ratchet fits great in there what else yeah so we were in this one so in the compartment what I have is let's see oh yeah so I have this leather um, little multi-tool well screwdriver I should, I should say from big I design uh, let me try and get this out so I can show you guys it's kind of hard one-handed but yeah so this was a Kickstarter campaign a while back I think if I'm not mistaken about a year ago so I don't know if you can still get these but these are titanium pocket screwdrivers it's very super convenient if you have knives anything with hex bits torx bits black hits and phillips so you, t you push it take out the bit you put it on top and you screw drive it so this is a great idea and it comes with a little extension on the side so i keep that on the side of the pocket what else let's see a deck of cards um just you never know you want to play and yeah that's it these pockets are kind of snug like because you could you could also put stuff in the back but yeah those are kind of snug um the, the one in the front i got um a headlamp for outdoors adventures if you're looking for a headlamp i recommend this one zebra light and then what is this oh, a cable for my hard drive which i have somewhere in here right here hard drive uh what else a little pocket uh nope notepad i don't want to show you guys but yeah keep this in your back pocket in your backpack it's super small and convenient what else and just what once yeah that's, that's it that's all i have in that pocket so next one behind pocket again there's another flashlight this one goes this way and that way so at night or whatever uh, whatever situation you're this would come in handy handy as a magnet so you can stick it on stuff so yeah that's pretty cool um, in the pocket airpods convenient little things sweet to keep them around and what else let's see Last but not least, Apple Watch charger. I don't have the cable in here right now, but the cable goes in here. The little pod is right there. And then this is a portable charger basically for your AirPods. So yeah, pretty, I mean not AirPods, Apple Watch. So yeah, all that stuff fits in here, no problem. And still a lot more room to, to go. So yeah, if you guys, um. Are interested in one of these these are not cheap i should say um but um but yeah if you're looking you're in a market for a long-term bag that would last pretty much your whole life and i i, I know your taste over time would change because i know that's how i am i like a thing for a certain time and then i don't but then i like it again so this bag for sure i would know that it would with withstand the elements withstand anything so over the years, I keep changing back and forth. I know this bag will still be in good shape. Because if you buy a bag, let's say, 
a cool nylon bag from made probably made in China or whatever. Those bags will probably last you a good two, three years, four years, five years. But then after a while, the seams will break, the, the threads will look bad, they'll get dirty, they'll get nasty. So yeah, that was my point in buying an expensive bag was like, hmm, over time, it's gonna look good. It's gonna feel even better than right now. It's not gonna fall apart. So I was like, you know what? It's an investment, but I'll, I'll see how it pays later. So yeah, all, and I forgot to mention, all these are stainless steel, so anti-rust and they'll, they're not cheap little plastics. So yeah, that was my quick overview and look through on the saddleback leather from thin front pocket bag. So if you guys liked the, the video, please like, subscribe, and let, let me know what you thought in the comments. And yeah, stay tuned for the review on the flashlight. And then I had, also have another reviews coming up soon. So if you like this kind of stuff, um, stay tuned. And thank you guys for watching.